Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. In this lesson, we are going to learn about roles. So before understanding roles, let's understand the problem statement which we are going to have. Let's say we are a system administrator and we are responsible to write Ansible playbooks for managing Git, managing probably Tomcat, user creation management, and then probably performing patching activity, uh, software upgrades like Java, Python, and then managing Jira instance, probably doing some sort of server hardening and also performing some sort of vulnerability checks on the servers. Now, in order to create all of these playbooks, what you can typically do is you might create a single playbook which is having steps for all of these items but in that case it is going to be very difficult for you to manage these because what will happen is let's say for once of like installing and managing git you might want to do it only on some servers and then again for installing tomcat you might have to do it on a different set of servers then again for user creation and management the code might be you know pretty long so if you fit everything in one ansible playbook it is going to be very difficult for you to understand and manage that playbook so the other option which you can do is you might create different playbook one for each of these items. now in that case also again each of these files are going to have their own jinja templates and there might be some files which you need to deploy for each of these items so it still becomes quite difficult so what ansible suggests is that for each of these function what we do is we create a role so ro using roles we'll be able to manage each of the functionality better and also we'll be able to basically do versioning control we'll be able to uh, separate our code and make it modular reusable again here you can see you know typical steps we which we do in in a playbook so now uh, in order to you know fix this problem we are going to use roles now before we move on here you can see just you know some quick notes about roles features for example it allows modularity reusability and here is the directory structure which we need to follow for each of the roles so each of the role is going to have its own tasks directory it's going to have variables directory templates directory files handlers defaults and meta directories all of these directories are for different purpose so we are going to use task directory in this lesson but all of these can be used for various reasons for example if you want to define role specific variables you are going to put that here in these variables directory again some jinja templates is going to go under this templates directory if you want to copy some files from source to destination you are going to put that role specific files here handlers is for handlers defaults again a defaults directory which is going to hold default variable and then we have meta directory which can use for uh, specifying any dependency which this role has on any other uh, packages so let's go on and start creating playbook which is going to make use of roles so right now you can see we are under slash home slash ansible so what we will do is let's create a project directory and we are going to call it roles example and now you can see we have a directory roles example under this let's create some roles so for example uh, let's say i want install git and then i want another one which is installed httpd we probably want another one as well install telnet so now we have three folders now under each of these folders we have to have tasks directory as well so what i will do is for under install git i'm going to create another directory which is called tasks and we have to do the same for other as well okay so we have done that now what we will do is uh, let's refresh here on the visual studio code and here you can see we have roles example under this we have install git install httpd install telnet and each of these directory also contains a task directory now we need to go under task directory for each of these uh, files and we need to create a yaml playbook so here again under tasks the file name is called main.yml and let's go ahead and write our first task and let's call it install git and then we are going to use package name is going to be uh, is for git it is going to be git and a state is going to be present so we have our first role ready which is going to basically is going to be responsible for installing git now we are going to move on to uh, install httpd under task directory we are going to create another file which is called main.yml and again here also let's copy this code from here and we are going to paste it here and now rather than git what we want to do is we want to change it to httpd and save this as well and then again under install talent we are going to go to tasks again create another file here call it main.yml and let's paste it again we are going to change it to telnet okay so we have created three roles now here what we can do is let's do ll or let's go one directory back let me clear the screen for you okay so right now you can see we have roles example now let's do three roles example 
and here you can see this is a structure which we have so we have a folder which is called roles example under roles example we have three folders one is install git install httpd install telnet and under install git we have tasks main.yml tasks main.yml again task main.yml now one thing which we missed here is that all of these structures need to be under roles directory that is like one of the requirement that is how ansible knows that we are talking about roles now what we will do is uh, we are under homes.ansible so we will go under roles example and here we are going to create one more directory called roles and whatever install git install httpd and install telnet we had we are going to move it under roles directory so let's use install hyphen or we can just do install uh, hyphen star and going to move it to roles directory now you can see we have only roles here and let's go one step back and now let's do tree roles hyphen example again and now you can see we have basically our project directory which is roles example and under that we have roles so roles folder should contain all the different roles now we can clear the screen now what we need to do is under our project directory which right now we are in or let's go to roles yeah this is the project directory so now here we can create our main.yml file so or let's just use visual studio code rather than using commands so here we are going to go to roles example and here we will create a file which is called let's say install uh, packages dot yml and now this is just going to be quite simple it's a yml file we are going to give a name to this play install all required packages and then uh, host going to be I'm just targeting control node itself just for the sake of simplicity and uh, gather facts I'm just going to disable and we don't need to add tasks now if you want to add tasks you can do that but now we have roles which is going to be basically responsible for installing tasks or managing things so we can just use roles and under roles we can specify each of the roles which we want to call so for example I want to call install git I want to call install httpd, I want to call install telnet. So again uh, how this playbook will work is it is going to go to these roles and then it knows it needs to install git so it will go under roles directory it will find install git task and it will go and run whatever is under main.yml. So let's go ahead and so again you can run it from anywhere so we were under roles example. Now here you can see uh, play name which is called install all required packages which is this play name and then what is happening is it is installing git, installing httpd, installing telnet. Okay so you can see now how it is easier it is to manage all our tasks and when you are working collaboratively let's say you know multiple people are going to work on multiple items. Uh, for example typically in an organization you are going to have a team who are responsible to write Ansible playbooks. So what will happen is you can ask them to work only on one role for example let's say if somebody is uh, somebody from your team is going to work on writing playbook which is responsible for network related items so you can ask them just to write roles so they can work independently and again there are some people who can work on let's say uh, different type of roles and then you can just use those roles in the main playbook so i hope the lesson is useful and it helped you see you again in the next lesson